Welcome in and welcome back, guys. You know, I appreciate when you guys take the time to tune in. Woman gets dumped on Mother's Day. So I came across this crazy, crazy story, guys, that a woman decided to share online about her experience dating a guy that she had met and about how things were going well until they weren't. And he ended up breaking up with her on Mother's Day. Only after he caught her lying straight to his face. Anyway, guys, no more wasting time. Let's check it out. Story time on how I got dumped on Mother's Day, y'all. <laughs> so it's around the holidays, and my son's dad was supposed to get my baby an iPad. So he texted me like four days before Christmas and was like, look, I'm looking everywhere, can't find it, not going to be able to get it this year. Mind you, that was at the top of my baby Christmas list, so I'm like pissed. I'm like, I have to find my baby an iPad because my baby really wanted an iPad for Christmas. I'm looking for an iPad, so I go into this boy's store and his co-workers helping me, but mind you, she don't know what the f*** she doing, so I'm like, he sees that I'm getting irritated, so he comes over and he like, what's going on? So he like, this gonna be tough because it is a holiday, it's sold out everywhere, but give me like an hour and I'll call you and let you know what I can do. He calls from his personal phone, not even the company phone, and he like, okay, I got good news, so come back or whatever. Okay, so I was able to find your baby an iPad. So, um, like three weeks passed and it's my birthday, right? I go to lunch with the person that I have the kid by now. And he got caught in his DMs telling some girl that she was beautiful. So I'm like, I'm not going nowhere with you. Like, this was the day you were supposed to be my dad. Like, it's just a wrap. So this boy from the store that helped me get my baby iPad texted me and was like, happy birthday, beautiful. I hope you enjoy. So I'm like, who is this? So he texted back and said who it was. So I'm like, wow, you really remember my birthday? He was like, yeah, like it was on your account. Like, it was on your ID. Like, yeah. So he like, what are you doing today? I'm like, well, I have plans to do X, Y, and Z, but now they're canceled. So he like, no, don't cancel your plans. Like, what is it that you had in mind? So I told him, and he like, bet, get ready. Like, meet me there. Like, you know, I'm going to be there or whatever. Like, we're going to celebrate your birthday. It's your so guys, help me out with this one right here. I'm, we're, we're kind of going through this together. So she already has a child with one guy who they have a son together, and she's supposed to be meeting up with another guy who she eventually has a kid with and the, he's supposed to meet her dad but they have a falling out so she takes another guy who she just met to go meet her dad i just want i just want to say real quick i just want to say i just think it's crazy just listening to her speak she just it sounds like chaos going on in her life her life sounds like it has no type of stability or structure in it so we go to my birthday dinner. He meets my dad because, like I said, my dad was going to be there. It was like a family thing. Like, this is my friend, so whatever. So mind you, the boy, he was cute, like, you know, tall, handsome. He had everything going for himself, apartment, job, car, like, all that. So I'm like, okay. So he meet my dad. They are cool. They split the bill for my birthday dinner. That was whatever. Fast forward, I end up getting back with the person that I have a kid by. We end up breaking up again. But this time, it was for like months when we end up breaking up. For, like, I get off work one day, and I end up going into the company that he works for, but a very different location. Who's there? I'm doing whatever I'm doing. He turns around and it's him. So he like, Dej, like, what's up? Where you been? I'm like, oh, just working. And he like, let's go out tonight. And I was about to be like, no, you know, I'm tired. He like, no, be ready at nine. Like, send me your address. I'm going to pick you up. Be ready. So again, I'm like, here. Because you're not asking me. You telling me. Like, I just love being told what to do. So we go on our little date. It's good vibes. He's cool. Super sweet. Super nice. So, like I said, he was good vibes. We go out, we have a good time. He pays for everything. He picks me up, all that. Okay, cool. So I go over there, nothing happens. Super gentleman, like we cuddle, we watch a movie. Like super, super, super sweet. Once again, I'm like here because you didn't press me. I didn't feel overwhelmed. Like, good vibes. We just cuddled, laughed, got to know each other more. Just chill. Like, he was perfect, y'all. Like, total opposite from the person that I have a kid by, like literally so y'all we started dating because at this time i'm single and i'm like i'm feeling him like he's cool as hell so we started dating but let me know if y'all want a part two on how we started dating and how i ended up getting dumped on freaking mother's day <laughs> and god there's a reason that i share content like this with you guys it's always a lesson that you can learn from watching other people and being and being an observer and if you're somebody who does not enjoy chaos in your life then you want to avoid women like this, like the plague. Let's go ahead and check out some of these comments. First comment says, I'm watching this while laying beside my baby daddy. 
that I broke up with today. And God, this is what I'm talking about. It's always going to be people who their life always is just, is, is no stability. It's just hectic. It's just chaos. And the best thing you can do is when you encounter these people, if you don't want that type of drama, if you don't want that, those type of issues and problems in your life is you just turn around and you go the other way because it cannot end well for you. And if you want to avoid having the type of life where you can never be at peace, then you got to avoid them at all costs. Anyway, guys, she did a part two. She did a part two on how she actually ended up getting dumped on Mother's Day. So we started dating, and remember I told y'all, like, I was fresh out of a relationship. So it's like, even though I like him, I still wanted to explore my options because I was single. So my ass was still dating other people, even though I really, really, really liked this guy. Like, I was still dating other people. Like I got to a point where it was, uh, you know, this ain't for me. I really like this dude. Like, this dude gives me princess treatment. He pays for my stuff. Like, we're always together. Like, treats me nice. Like... Like I said, total opposite from the person that I have a kid by. So it was a breath of fresh air. So I was like, let me just get serious about this boy. You know, I'm always over here. And the day before Mother's Day, we're together. My son is with his dad and with his dad's mom and all that type of stuff. So, and we drinking. He had like a little pole in his house. So I'm dancing on the pole. We like turning up, having fun. Next day, y'all, it's like 6 a.m. I roll over to cuddle with him. He's not in the bed. He's playing his game. So I get up and go to the bathroom. I come back. I'm like, good morning, babe. He like, what's up? So he dry. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm like, I forget what I say to him, but I say something else. So he like, Dej, I just need to ask you something. I'm like, what's up? He like, have you been talking to other people while, you know, we've been dating? And I'm like, lying. Like, no. So he like, okay, one more time. Remember, it's the principle of me asking you and you being honest with me. So I'm like, no. So he starts going off, like, I can't believe you. You over here talking to other people. You over here doing you. Like, I didn't drop all the females that I have for you. Like, we always together if I'm not at work. Like, or if I'm not with my baby. Like, I'm with you. We're we going off. So I feel bad, y'all. He's going. So I don't think I said this as well. Him and my dad, they stayed in the same building. Like, literally, if we was yelling loud enough, my dad could hear us arguing because my dad didn't live far down in the building from him. So I get dressed, and I start walking out. He follows me out the house, going off. Like, I can't believe you. You got me messed up. Yeah, I've never felt so bad about doing somebody wrong, which I typically don't do people wrong, but I felt horrible, y'all. Like, at that moment, I'm like, I really love this man. Like, I felt bad, y'all. Like, so the moment I left, I called my mom crying. Like, mommy went through my phone. Like, all this stuff is old. I got home, y'all. I guess my mama had told my siblings because everybody was in the living room waiting for me to get home. So everybody in the living room waiting for me to get home. Y'all, I instantly just, my mom had a big old rug. I just fall on the rug. Y'all, I'm just so sick. Like, oh my God, y'all, he went through my phone. He dumb me like he said he dumb. So my brother was like, dog, we all get dumped before. I mean, I ain't never got dumped on Mother's Day, so I don't know how that is. But... <laughs> I called off work for days off this breakup, y'all. Like, I was sick in tears, crying. Like, and every time we would communicate, he would make me feel bad. You know, like, I felt bad, y'all. Fast forward, after he dumped me, you know, after I'm like, okay, let me just try to get over him. Like, I'm in a bed for two weeks, like, really sick. So, let me start going back outside again. Like, he done. It's not the end of the world. He calls me months later. Like, Dej, I miss you, man. What's up? Like, I'm ready to get past all the bullshit. Y'all, why I have to tell this man that I was pregnant? <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! And this is what I'm talking about. This isn't just about women. This is just people who enjoy chaos. He had an opportunity to completely dodge a bullet. And he put himself right back into the line of fire. Because there are just some men and women out there, they match each other. They, they, it's a match made in heaven. They belong together. After hearing this and how everything is going down, and he still wants to get back with her, they belong together. Because their standards are both so low, they, they're the perfect match. They'll both feed off of each other's chaos. They'll, uh, they'll both fall in and out. They'll both, they'll continue to have issues on and off, but 
keep on getting back with each other and they'll and they'll go on accepting that type of behavior from one another. I'm just curious to see how it ends. So part three is fairly simple. He calls me a few months after we broke up and um, I had to reveal to him that I was pregnant. He didn't believe that I was pregnant because um, my pregnancy wasn't posted on any social media. I did hide my pregnancy. One of the reasons was I did not want him to find out that I had got pregnant only a month after we had broke up. That we stayed in contact here and there with him screenshots of the person that I got pregnant by basically admitting to trapping me so that he wouldn't think that I was just out here just going wild. I did use a condom when I got pregnant with my daughter and still end up getting pregnant because that I got pregnant by just wanted me to have his baby so bad. But the main reason is that he did not want me talking to this man anymore. So he thought a baby would solidify that. So fast forward, I have my baby. Um, and the day that I go give birth to my daughter, he sends me a message and he's like, oh, praying for, you know, a safe delivery and a speedy recovery. My baby daddy gets big mad. Oh, I'm gonna fight him because why is he speaking on my kid? My baby daddy, y'all, is just drama, like literally. So a few months after I had my baby, me and my baby daddy break up and then me and him started like talking again. And we literally pick up like where we left off. Like everything was cool. Um, the drama came in when my baby daddy found out that we were back talking and my baby daddy was drama like trying to contact this man no forget trying to contact this man my baby daddy does contact this man my baby daddy is making threats or all this weird stuff because he was mad that the baby did not keep me in the situation how he thought it would me and him are in this on and off again type thing because of my baby daddy so it's like my baby daddy would just be drama so i would get back with my baby daddy to shut my baby daddy up and to avoid and eliminate all the drama but my baby daddy is not where I wanted to be. Like, it's clear that I wanted to be with this man, but it just was, it was just a, it was a lot, y'all. Okay, so questions are, have he met my baby? Yes, he's met my baby, but when she was smaller, do we still talk? Absolutely, y'all. That soul tie is serious. I don't know if that man sprinkled a little bit of crack on it before our first encounter, but I am in a chokehold. Do we still dump each other all the time? Like... We just swore we was done a few days ago and I was crying at work looking crazy just to wake up next to him the next day. <laughs> Our situation will forever be complicated and I don't think it'll ever be the same how it was just because it was a lot that was done, but it is what it is. Stop it. I mean, <laughs> you could see that from the very beginning when she started speaking. <laughs> that she was the type of woman who she just getting a, whatever type of attention she can get from a man, she'll take it. And she can never be without it, at no matter the cost. Fall out with the baby daddy to be, pick up right there and insert new guy who just shows her some interest and invite him to meet her pops. Old guy wants back in, he's right back in there, gets her pregnant, they fall back out. She goes back to the guy she was talking to before, but has to tell him that she's pregnant. They have another falling back out. She goes back in between the baby daddy again and back and forth and back and forth it goes. I mean, guys, if you ever needed any more proof on why you should avoid single moms at all costs to maintain your peace and, and maintain your sanity, just to replay this story back here. Anyway, guys, share your thoughts down below. Appreciate when you guys take the time to chime in questions comments thoughts and feedback go ahead and drop them down below don't forget you can support this channel by hitting that like and that subscribe button and as always until next time